The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. Well, the midnight headlights blind you on a rainy night Steep grade up a hill, slow me down, making no time But I gotta keep rolling The windshield wiper, slapping out a tempo Keeping perfect rhythm with the song on the radio But I gotta keep rolling We're at Close to Clark Day now here at the Autism Center over here off of Towar and we're going to show, see what we got going on out here. Alrighty. Go ahead. We are back out here at the Close to Clark Day and we are in a um, work van. This is not too bad looking. You got your steering wheel. You got you got a little, your initial first to five day and not too savvy. Mm -mm. It's and MJM Mechanical. Yeah. Look, right here. They probably do. You know what? Let's take a gander in the back yeah. and see what they do. Yeah. You're going to do a seat belt. Yeah. Always got to do the seatbelt. Yeah. Not too bad. Stay tuned for more. Okay, let's go to the back. Here's the back of the truck, people. Yeah, not too bad. You got all the different tools and all the different boards and ladders. There you go. And we'll be back for more. Okay, now we're going. So this is called a paver. This is what we use to make the roads and your parking lot. So at the very front of the machine, we've got what's called a hopper. That's where the really hot asphalt goes through. Then we have a conveyor that will actually push everything all the way out here. From there, we have a driver that will actually drive the machine. And we have two people that stand right over here that actually determine how wide, thick, and thin we're going to actually make the road or the parking lot. Wow. So yeah. And do they have to talk to each other like on both sides trying to figure out where how even yep. to make it so and if stuff? One side needs to be thicker, the other person will make it thinner over here so that way it's always straight and even. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah.
Yeah, I often wondered how they did that because the one place where I was at, it was like wobbly. I'm like, yeah. They didn't communicate too well, I don't think. <laughs> you get in from the back. Okay, go ahead. We are back out here. We got a fire truck out here. So it's busy on the other side. <laughs> they can fit like four people in here. Yeah, Most like you can fit not on there. Yep, you can fit. There's you can fit one here and one on the other side too. You can fit about six people in here. Yeah, they got their deer. Well, here phones so you can talk to each other. Stay tuned for more. There is all the stuff they carry for the fire. And this is how they stow it. That's the jaws of life. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure when you get down on the plate, you go down backwards, not backwards. Like that. And don't be a hatter. If you know how to get out the proper way. No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> now, she, she did this in the other one, too. She did that other one, too. This is the backboard and the, and the wheelchair things when they go up and down the stairs. Steer chair. Stair chair. Stair chair. Scoop stretcher. Backboards. This is what we use to unlock the locked car doors. Oh, wow. And these are all neck braces and uh, splinting mm -hmm. supplies. Wow. You guys want to go in? Yeah. You can go in the back door there. I'll meet you down here. That's so awesome. I rode in one of these a couple times. Lonnie is real lucky he's going to have to today. Yeah, they carry a lot of equipment in one of these. I think they carry a lot of equipment in one of these. Yeah, inside and out. Yeah. Just like a fire truck. Inside and out. They have storage on the outside, storage on the inside. We are back in a park. Ambulance. Here's their pen. This is all the cupboards where they keep all the stuff they need for when someone's hurt. And here's the bed for when they need to lay down. And over here where West is setting is where they set when they're not real bad. Or people coming with them. And here is the lock for the bed so it keeps it in place. And you got your lights and stuff here and there's like handles for when they're standing up. And you saw on the outside there was compartments for when they have stuff on the outside. And this is instructions on how to lock the bed in place. And stay tuned for more. Hi, my name is Monica. I'm here today to educate you on the use of epinephrine auto-injectors, most commonly known as EpiPens. Symptoms of an anaphylactic reaction, typically a rash, 
uh, swelling of the throat, difficulty swallowing, hives, uh, low heart rate, low blood pressure, um, even a feeling of fainting. As soon as you recognize symptoms of an anaphylactic reaction, get your EpiPen and begin treatment as soon as possible. To use your EpiPen, get your two pack, open the lid, take out your EpiPen. Be sure to grasp it firmly on the barrel of the EpiPen. Don't put your hand over the top or over the bottom. Also remember, blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. Once you have a good grip on the barrel of your EpiPen, remove the blue safety lid. Extend your arm in one motion, inject into your thigh. Hold for three seconds, count slowly. One, two, three. Pull your arm back, remove the needle. After using your first dose of epinephrine and you feel that your symptoms are resolving, still go to the emergency room. You never know when or if that reaction might return again. Like a rose, I bloom. I see beauty in everything and in all people. But there is a fence, and on the other side of that fence is hostility, is injustice, is deceitfulness, is hate, is corruption, ball up in a thing called politics. And I hope for a brighter tomorrow, a day when we can pass every man and woman on the street and greet them with a smile, no matter, you can say, hey brother, is there a load you, you got a beer? I help you carry it on, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I mean, we need to touch each other in a spiritual sense and feel their pain and react according. Help, you don't have to ask somebody if they need help, you help them because that is it. Can we do this? Can we do this? Let's do this. We can do this. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. And in the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm When the solid ground is falling out from underneath my feet Between the black skies and my red eyes I can barely see When I realize I've been sold out by my friends and my family I can feel the rain reminding me In the eye of the storm You remain in control In the middle of the war You guard my soul You alone are the anchor When my sails are torn Your love surrounds me In the eye of the storm Far from me, and I'm running out of faith. I see the future, I picture slowly fade away. And when the tears of pain and heartache are pouring down my face, I find my peace in Jesus' name. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. In the middle of the war. Says I've only got a few months left It's like a bitter pill I'm swallowing I can barely take a breath 
And when addiction steals my baby girl And there's nothing I can do My only hope is to trust you I trust you, Lord In the eye of the storm You remain in control Community Radio 95.7 FM WELT is interrupting our regular programming for this special feature. Today, community and public radio stations across America will come together in a simultaneous broadcast of John Lennon's timeless song of peace, unity, and hope. Give peace a chance. This collective transmission serves to unite radio listeners from coast to coast in a unified demonstration to support those around the world who are affected by war. Reminding us all that we can collectively amplify support for peace across the globe. Community and public radio together for peace. This is Community Radio 95.7 FM, WELT. Two, one, two, three, four.
now return you to your regular programming here on Community Radio, 95.7 FM, WELT.
Wait, here's Corey. You look like the movie, huh? Mm Find a place to have for it, but I should. You probably find him. It's mm. getting close.
you stop it? Not down. I don't know what this part is. Wait a minute. Yeah. Mom, why are you in the teacher's dinner? You ain't doing so enough. Hmm? He passed away. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't think he was I thought he was in his mind. Um, Dad is 85? Oh, yeah. 85? No, not Uncle Tom. Me, Mike, and him. Mm -hmm. On the same birthday. There was somebody else, too. <laughs> Family. Gal. Look. Hey, I guess I didn't have it. Well, I just thought that was nice. Yeah, it was nice. See, these are all my aunt and uncle. When I was a kid, by Grandma Jackson. This is your Grandma Cruzen's mom. Right here. Oh. Or Grandma Jackson's mom. This is Grandma Cruzen. <laughs> Grandma Cruzen, look what she's holding me. She's holding a baby. Grandma Cruzen and Grandma Jackson are both holding somebody. Is that you? Yeah. One of them. I know, I got a picture.
Father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am, oh, when I sing, many searching for it. That 
Hey 